Hello, El Paso. Welcome to another segment of Top Dogs. And this is our third edition. We have a very special invite with us today. But before we move on to this story, let us remind you that Top Dog is designed to put all these great athletes that El Paso has on the spotlight because they're on the rise, because they're on the radar, and they want to play at the next level, the college level. So without further ado, allow me to introduce Keon Williams from East Lake High School. He's a wide receiver, number six, with a lot of skills, with a lot of agility. And we had some time with him and we asked him a little bit of his personal life, a little bit of his football dreams, and what he uses to stay on top of his game. Are you guys ready, ladies and gentlemen? Here it is, Mr. Keon Williams from East Lake High School. Hi, my name is Keon Williams. I'm 17 years old. I go to East Lake High School and I play wide receiver and I do high jump and track. <laughs> to Texas with my mom, my brother. I've had a few pets. At the moment I have a dog, his name's Dodger. It's a little annoying, but it's whatever. I'd say my favorite artist is Drake, and my favorite football team is the Pittsburgh Steelers. I was never a troublemaker. I'd say I was more of a hyper energetic child. You know, just always running around, getting my mom annoyed, getting all my family members annoyed. But I mean, they love me. <laughs> I mean, what isn't there to love? Um, oh no, definitely not. I'd say I'm... When I was little, I loved school. I mean... I was always like the person that would try to like excel higher. Like I remember once I was supposed to do a spelling bee, but I missed that day, so I wasn't able to. But I was like, I was reading at a like 11th grade level in the fifth grade, so. My mom for sure, you know, she had to play both roles in my brother in my life. And you know, that's hard on a person and I feel that you know that's just that's just a big accomplishment football you know my mom my brother my brother used to play football in high school he passed away a few years ago and i feel at that point it was just really a turning point in my life i felt playing football was a way to get close to him and my mom loves it, and I, I love that for it for her too. He's my main inspiration, of course. He, you know, he helped me throughout elementary school, a little bit of high school, of course, and middle school. He was always there for me. He's my number one supporter, apart from my mom. And he, he was just such a good person with such a kind heart, always caring about people before himself. Last year, after my season, I was named first team all district wide receiver in the 5A district. I'd say that was a really big accomplishment for me, especially being my first year on varsity. It was just really cool. Number one, I'd say my height. 
I mean, I'm not the tallest, but I'm definitely not the shortest. It helps me get around. I mean, of course, you have the corners that may be shorter than you, being able to like press you or whatever, but you know, just being able to get off of that, being longer than other people, it gives you an advantage most of the time. Uh, number two, I'd say my lateral quickness. You know, down the field, I wouldn't say I'm too, too fast, but I'd say definitely getting across the field, I'm um, pretty quick, you know. Um, I think it helps me a lot with a lot of my routes, you know, digs, slants, all of that. Um, number three, I'd say footwork, you know, being a wide receiver, it's a lot of, you know, jab steps, a lot of, you really have to work on your feet, you know. You go home with blisters, all of that, your ankles are hurting, your knees are hurting. It's just, you really got to work on your footwork and of course your shoulder movements, but your footwork's going to get you everywhere in the wide receiver world. Uh, number four, I'd say my adapting skills. Um, you know, being a sophomore coming into football, uh, you know, it's just, I didn't, didn't know anything, but I was able to learn a lot of things, able to help my teammates learn a lot of things as time went on. And I feel like being able to adapt to new things is just one of my main traits. <music> Lastly, number five, I'd say confidence. Confidence is key, you know, if, you could be the best player in the world, and if you have no confidence, it's gonna get you nowhere. Cheers to Keon Williams and his family, because not only is he a very special player on the field, but he's also a very special individual. We got to learn a little bit of his brother, and his mom, his values, and a little bit of what he uses on the field. So it's been a pleasure. We hope that you reach all your goals, Mr. Keon Williams, and that you move on in life with all those great aspirations that you have. Shout out to your uncle that got you to this point, Mr. Bo Munoz. He's a uh, very good friend of mine from Socorro High School. That boy was a mean, mean running back. And so credits to him for bringing Keon Williams to our set. And ladies and gentlemen, that's it for Top Dogs, third edition. We hope to see you guys next time. Have a blessed week. Uh -huh.